Welcome to Lord Corporation's PV bonding demonstration video. Here we'll be explaining the difference between vulcanization and PV bonding. Then we'll take you through the process of applying a bonded assembly utilizing the PV bonding process. Let's get started. Vulcanization or conventional bonding uses heat from the molding process to cure the elastomer and primer adhesive system to create a bonded assembly. Post vulcanization or PV bonding allows users to bond large or complex geometries that typically do not fit into a mold. In the PV bonding process, cured elastomer is bonded to a substrate with a primer adhesive system using an additional heat source, such as an induction system or convection oven. This method provides greater product and mold design freedom, while also delivering lower tooling, production, and labor costs. Today, applications that currently use mechanical fastening to attach elastomer to substrate can add Lord Chemlock adhesives and sometimes even replace the mechanical device with Chemlock to achieve a more robust bonded assembly. Now, let's demonstrate how to apply a bonded assembly utilizing the PV bonding process. 1. Substrate Preparation Substrate surface preparation is the same for both conventional and post-vulcanization PV bonding. The substrate surface can be prepared using either a mechanical or chemical preparation. Grit blasting, eco, zinc phosphate, and various plating methods can all be used to prepare a substrate surface prior to PV bonding. 2. Molding Compression, transfer, and injection molding can all be used to PV bond the elastomer sections. Similar cure times and temperatures can be used. Although a slightly lower overall cure, 70 to 90 percent, can be used given the second heat cycle during the PV curing step. Silicone mold releases should be avoided if possible. Most elastomers can be PV bonded. However, silicone and fluoroelastomers, FKM, are not recommended. 3. Chemlock Adhesive Application Similar chemlock application methods can be used for vulcanization and PV bonding, including spray, brush, and dip. Chemlock can be applied to the prepared substrate surface or to the molded elastomer sections. If coating the elastomer sections, a cleaning step should be added prior to the chemlock application to remove any waxes, oils, or surface contaminants. Recommended dry film thicknesses of the Chemlock primer would be identical to conventional bonding at 5 to 10 microns, 0.2 to 0.4 mils. Chemlock adhesive dry film thicknesses should be increased for PV bonding to 25 to 38 microns, 1.0 to 1.5 mils. 4. Assembly. Depending on part geometry, Assembly oils can be utilized to allow the elastomer sections to seat within the substrate geometry. Small amounts of naphthenic oil or oils that are compatible with the elastomers can be used. The elastomer section needs to be compressed between 5 to 20 percent during the curing process. 5. Curing, oven or induction. Several curing methods are compatible with PV bonding. The options include convection ovens, autoclaves, and induction heating. Convection ovens require 30 to 60 minutes at 138 to 149 degrees Celsius or 280 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Autoclave cures require 15 to 20 minutes at 138 to 157 degrees Celsius, 280 to 315 degrees Fahrenheit. Induction cure can be used on metallic substrates and the bond line needs to reach a temperature of 138 to 149 degrees Celsius or 280 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Cured parts can be water quenched after heat exposure for ease of handling. 6. Post-curing testing. 
Post-curing processes can be utilized and include machining, grinding, plating, and chemical conversion coatings. The final part assembly can also be exposed to various environments, such as boiling water, salt spray, humidity, and glycol testing. The final part assembly should be destructively tested to check for elastomer retention and peak failure forces. PV bonding with Lord adhesives offers exceptional reliability and performance. This method provides high quality rubber tearing bonds over a wide range of elastomers, while also providing excellent high temperature and environmental resistance comparable to vulcanization bonding. Find out more by contacting us at 1-877-ASK-LORD.